Good things, great things in the name of Jesus. Uh, my name is Kuruperos Tola. I'm here to share with you my encounter or the vision that I had while I was praying with Pastor Kupanani Stephen. Um, my request, I was actually asking for prayers concerning my career. So we started praying and praying. And then I started seeing the light. As the light comes, I started seeing it approaching to me. And then pastor told me it's an angel. And then I had to ask the name as the pastor told me. I asked the name and then he told me that his name is it's Gabriel. As he came, we walked, we were going up to heaven until we reach to the gate of heaven. And then the angels told me that you once came here. You once came here, we have taken you before. So as we enter there, we go, we go, and then I could see a throne. It's a throne, it's a golden throne, or I can say a chair where I could see a light like someone was wearing a white garment i couldn't see the face but it was so bright so as we were praying i had to ask pastor told me to ask what's my purpose before he even finished saying i should ask what my purpose here on earth and i could hear a voice that says you know what i've called you to do and then it the, ve the voice came again, you know what I've called you to do. And you know that I have given you the anointing just like Apostle Paul. I have told you before. And which is true because I was, I was once told that I have the anointing just like Apostle Paul. I think it was 2022 when I was praying. So we prayed again. I went, I was shown to hell. Where in hell, I could hear voices. The place is so dark. I could hear voices. Like there was like hands that look like they can grab you. Like in that darkness. And then when we were there, I had to ask that, can I see people who are in hell? But my answer, the answer that I got from the voice, it was like, I have shown you before also. You know the people that I've shown you from hell. Go back to the book that you used to write, all your dreams and your vision. You will see those people who are in hell. And then we came back and then as we are coming back, I could hear a voice again saying that, from today i will never leave you again i will go with you i will never leave you but i will go with you again so i'm here to encourage people to encourage everyone that let us trust in god let us continue trust in god let us continue believing in god and having faith and there is more God has created us to do here on earth. It's not about asking what we want, but there's a purpose. Some of us, we are called to be healers. Some, call, some of us, we are called to preach the gospel of God, but we are failing to do that. I pray and I ask that God may also reveal yourself to you to every one of us so that we will encounter him and to know the purpose and the will that he has called us to do here on earth. Because God is alive, God is real. I have seen him before and I knew all this time that God has, has uh, gifted me or my calling that God has called me. It's like Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul Collins. But you know, 
we do backslide as Christian sometimes and we feel like we feel like uh, maybe I it's just I was just dreaming or I was just thinking of all those things. But remember the Bible says God is spirit. God, those who worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit. So we must always acknowledge that God is in spirit and we must not listen to what the enemy is trying to say. All the discouragement that we hear or we think or we thought, it doesn't come from God, but it comes from the enemy. So I want to thank everyone or to encourage everyone to say that God is real. God exists. Seek him as he says that he said, he says that in the book of Jeremiah that um, if you seek me with all your heart, you will find him. You will find me. May we seek him so that we find him. May we seek him so that we will also experience or encounter him.